the first thing that you're going to want to do when you get to your campus's Moodle server is you're going to want to log in. And where the login link is going to be is going to be completely different on every single school. So what you need to do is just simply look around. You may have a nice block laid out here for yourself where you have a username and password field and a login button that you can log in at. Many other schools will have a link. A lot of times it will be in the either upper right, upper left, or lower right, lower left, or sometimes it will be in one of the columns. But simply look for the login link and go ahead and click on that. And when you go into login, you're going to already have a user account that you're going to be using from your institution. A lot of times it will be your standard campus email account. It may be your email address for your campus account. That information will be provided by your institution. For me, I'm going to go ahead and log in as one of our test students whose name is Elvis. So I'll type in his first name, Elvis, E-L-V-I-S. And the password is 12345. I'll just go ahead and type that in and hit the login button. Now, you'll notice that once I log in to Moodle, my page changes quite a bit. I have some information that's contextually aware for me. I see my courses. There's usually a block for that somewhere on the page. It lists out what my courses are that I'm taking. If there's any messages that are coming in on the server for me, those messages will appear here, and I can choose to read them or ignore them. I can see a listing of other online users that I might be able to contact. My calendar is usually over here on the right-hand side, and if I've got events on my calendar, they'll be highlighted as to events that are related specifically to me. A lot of times the center section of my course will also repeat my courses, and it will be links to the courses that I'm enrolled in. And so throughout this training, we're going to be using this Introduction to Coral Reef Ecology course. What goes along with logging in is making sure that when you're finished using Moodle, you want to make sure that you remember to log out. And wherever you found that login link, in our case we used the one that was up here in the upper right hand corner, wherever you found that login link, there's more than likely going to be a log out button. And it's real important to log out anytime you're finished using Moodle because you don't want another student coming in and clicking into the browser and then just hitting the back button and then they're able to access all of your files, hand in assignments, and basically masquerade as if they were you. So you definitely don't want that. So I'd always suggest logging out and as an extra safeguard, I'd suggest quitting your browser and making sure that nobody's able to just use a back button and go back in as yourself.